Tonight, growing charges of White House interference in the FBI's ongoing investigation into whether Trump campaign associates colluded with the Russian government. The day after the president fired the FBI director, the White House downplaying the importance of the probe. That's a, uh, probably one of the smallest things that they've got going on their plate. Some lawmakers, however, are now demanding that the Justice Department appoint a special prosecutor, independent of the administration and Capitol Hill, to lead the probe. Were those investigations getting too close to home for the president? If there was ever a time when circumstances warranted a special prosecutor, it is right now. Those circumstances? Sources tell CNN that just days before being fired, FBI Director James Comey asked Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein for more resources to devote to the Bureau's Russia investigation, an account the Justice Department denies. One indication the FBI's investigation was ramping up, federal prosecutors issued grand jury subpoenas to associates of former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn seeking business records. Another sign, Senate Russia investigators have also sent a request to the Treasury Department for any financial information related to President Trump, his top officials, and campaign aides. The decision to fire Comey raises questions about the appropriateness and timing of firing the person in charge of an investigation that could, I won't say would, but could implicate the administration. To have this happen, and happen now is beyond surprising. Do you affirm? At his confirmation hearing, Deputy uh, Attorney General Rosenstein uh, said that he was open to the possibility of appointing an independent prosecutor if warranted. I'm willing to appoint a special counsel center whenever I determine that it's appropriate based upon the policies and procedures of the Justice Department. Today, Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell said an independent prosecutor isn't necessary. Today, we'll no doubt hear calls for a new investigation which could only serve to impede the current work. And the White House agreed. We don't think it's necessary. You've got a House committee, a Senate committee, uh, and the Department of Justice all working on this. We also heard Sanders today, as the president has done before, say that there is no evidence of Trump campaign or associates collusion with Russia during the campaign, that that part of the investigation is closed. Fact is, uh, I've spoken today and yesterday to both Democratic and Republican members of the House and Senate Intelligence Committees who are now investigating that question, and they all tell me, Wolf, that they are still investigating. That is an open question whether there was collusion cooperation between Trump associates during the campaign and Russian officials, other Russians known to U.S. intelligence, and that includes the Republican chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee, Senator Richard Burr.